Hey, in this video we'll take a look at very common React technique – conditional rendering. As we discussed in previous videos, JSX is just a JavaScript by its nature, and because of that we can use the same if-else state statements to conditionally show components or its parts. We can use both classic if-else JavaScript syntax or more modern version with question mark and colon. So, the most common scenario for conditional rendering as is that we have some prop which could be true or false, and based on the value of this prop, we are showing to the user different content. Let's see how it works in the code. We have our say hello component, and let's make a new one based on this. So, let's create a new file and give it a name of to do item. Let's copy the say hello component, paste it here, and let's make changes. And we will name it to do item. And we will have two props here. One prop will be the name, uh, and it will be a string. Uh, and the second one will be um, will be is done, and this will be a boolean. And let's paste it here inside props. And now let's clear the return statement. And now what we will return from this from this component. Uh, based on the is done uh, prop, which is boolean, it will be true or false, we will return the different content to the user. How we will do that? So we will check the value of is done and if is done will be true, we will return an li, and here I will give it a class name of to do, and the value will be the name, the second prop of the component, and this mark of the completion. And if is done will be false, we will return just the name without the completion. Uh, what if it is completing? Mm. Expression expected. Oh, all right. Uh, this is not. This is not a correct syntax. We don't need this braces. And we don't need the return here. Just like that. All right. Now let's use that component. So inside app. Oh, and let's oh, let's make a make it just const here and export it as default. Here inside app I will import it. Uh, import to do and let's get rid of this say hello. And here let's create a to-do list. And let's use it to do item, a couple of them, and let's give it a props. Name will be go to gym, and wash the dishes, and let's say. 
clean the house. All right, and let's see how it looks like. So, all right, as we see, our components are rendered, mm, but let's check uh, the conditions. So, is done. If is done is true, it should display this. If is done is false, it should not display this. All right, let's check. Let's give it is done equals false. And let's see how it will look like. All right, so as you see, if something is not done, uh, we don't have this check mark if it is true. Uh, we have this checked. Oh, all right, I see. Uh, we have the default value from the old component, and I think by default it will be better to have it on false. So for now, all the check marks should gone. Yeah, as you see, we don't have, <laughs> we have all things to do now. Uh, all right, so what we have here, we are providing to the component uh, two props, the name, just the text, uh, and is done prop, which is boolean. And if it is false, it is false by default. Uh, we return to the user this statement without the check mark. If it is true, the check mark will be there. Uh, one important technique uh, to, to use it here, when you are using props uh, which are boolean, you can, you can provide it here uh, with a value of false, or if it is optional, you can just not provide it, and then React will know that it is false. And if we will provide it here, it's done. Uh, we could make it just in, in this way. We, we could not write equals true. True. So now go to gym will be checked. And it will be the same thing if we will do this. As you see, it is the same. All right. This. Uh, for now, uh, this is more like old syntax with if and else statement, uh, but there is more convenient uh, syntax to do that. Mm, it is with uh, ternary operator, so with question mark and the colon. So let's do that. Let's comment that out. And let's, and let's return return a statement with a line and class name to do and here inside the li we will we will make a, a javascript statement with the curly braces and here we will check the condition of the is done prop so if is done prop is true, we will return a name plus, plus the check sign. And on the right side, if it's false, we will just return the name. And let's check if it works the same way. And as you see, everything works the same way as with this method. As you see, it is much more uh, verbose and convenient and short, easy to read. So using this method, uh, when you are doing your conditional rendering, is preferred. You can also do something like mm, create a variable, uh, like, I don't know, let to do item uh, equals to name and make some check 
paste of is done and just uh, do something like um, something like that to the item mm. what is wrong here oh um, all right and here we can just return here inside this ally we can just return this to do item oh, all right now it's, it's telling us that we can't assign it to string because this is an element all right let's change it to any to make this work and let's check how it will look like and as you see we have this delete element which is crossing our item which is done uh, this is this is more used if you have some uh, some bigger components to to render conditionally if they are short there is no point of doing something like that but this is an option all right that's it for conditional rendering try it on your own uh, check for more information in the description and happy coding.